so hello everyone welcome back to programming knowledge so from today we will be starting a series in which we will be implementing firebase features into our flutter application so without wasting any time let's move on to the details of the series so very first this series will cover like after completion of this series you will understand how to set up firebase manually as well as from cli Another thing, you will also learn how to implement email and password authentication in Flutter. Also, you will understand how to implement Firebase phone authentication. Phone authentication, you means the Firebase will send a OTP to your number. Another, you will understand how to implement Firebase Firestore. How we can use Firebase Firestore okay then moving on to next we will understand what is firebase storage after that we will understand what is fcm and how we will implement so this after the completion of this series you will understand the following topics so let's move on to our today's and the very first topic into a series in this we will be set up firebase so using in this we will be using firebase console to set up firebase very first you should have an account a gmail account on which you will create a on which you will create you will logging into firebase console second we will be creating a project on the console third we will create a project in flutter then on the last step we will connect both of the projects so let's go to our console now on the google search for firebase console then search you will get the first link don't open that link scroll a bit and open the firebase console you can see console.firebase just click on that after clicking on that you will see a page now in this let's just dismiss this for now now click on get started with firebase project so it will tell you so in this step we are creating a project so we are on the second step so let's create i will name this logging sign so just accept the terms and condition and click on continue and click on continue after that continue select the state if you want to change it i don't want to change it right uh, okay just click on create project so it will take some time and will successfully create your project now you can see a firebase project is ready click on continue so now you can see this is the overview of a firebase console so now open the android studio click on new flutter project then select the path then click on next so now give the project name so i will give the same sign up logging then i don't want for linux mac os web or windows then click on create so it will create your project successfully now you can see a flutter project is also ready so let's just skip it like this only so our third step is also completed now moving on to our fourth step which is firebase which is connecting firebase with flutter so how to do that go to the firebase console go to click on android then give the package name over here so how to get this package name go to android studio open the android phone now go to build.gradle i think okay go go to the app folder go to build.gradle over here you can see this namespace just copy this go to the console and paste it over here 
then if you want to give any application i'm prefer i am giving is author you don't need it like it's optional click on register app after this it will tell you to download the google service json file click on that so it will download after downloading copy it then paste it onto the android project so now where to paste it so let me show you see in this page it's telling us we have to paste this on the app level folder so let's go to this open the app click on app and paste it over so now it's perfect and add this so it successfully added now go to the next step so in the next step we will copy the plugins then go to android studio open the android.build gradle so it will be in this folder when you will open the folder you can see over here there is a build.gradle file just open this come over here and paste it okay then go go back to the console and over here just check the copy this go to the app level build good trail file you can find it in the app level you over here after opening that go here and paste it when you will do this successfully you are all you are all set to go then go to console again click on next click on continue to console after doing that just go to android studio open the terminal search for flutter pub get firebase underscore co and enter so there is a slight mistake you have to write add flutter pub add firebase co after adding that you have to do flutter pub get after doing that go to main dot file over here search for widgets find widgets binding dot okay widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized then type over here firebase dot initialize app and add a waiter to front of that so now our app is ready so let's just connect and run the application to run connect your device i am connected my phone using usb after connecting we click on run and wait and let this to be run so now you can see the flutter app is successfully run this means our firebase is successfully connected to the flutter application so you can see it is running let me just remove the now you can see it's running so this is how we can create a we can connect a flutter project to the firebase so we are successfully done over here so in this video we successfully learned how to set a firebase project how to create a firebase project 
and connect it with a Flutter application. So in the next video, we will see how to connect our Firebase project with a Flutter project using Firebase CLN. This is that is little more easy comparing to this. So we will look for that also. Till then, thank you.